YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have volume two of the collection series. Today I have a very special guest with me, my boy, Too Smooth Austin. What's good, my boy? Thank you for having me, brother. Yes, no doubt. Let's go. So my boy, welcome to the show. This is volume two of the collection series, man. If you didn't watch the first episode, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions about your sneaker collection. Um, let's get into it, my boy. So the first question, um, why did you start collecting shoes? It's a good question. So uh, I started with my older sister, Kayla. Mm -hmm. She was big on sneakers. She loved collecting sneakers. Everything she wanted, she got. So you know, growing up with her, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do the same thing. So as I started getting older and older and older, I started incorporating more sneakers, Jordans, Nikes, Coach LeBron, and anything else I like it, mm -hmm. I started buying them. So you got a hefty collection here, my boy. Looking at all these sneakers, um, which one is your favorite? Which one's your favorite pair? This is a tough choice. Talk to me, man. Uh, it's tough. We got a lot I'm of good. I'm going with the Sean Woodsman. Woo! Put those joints out here, man. What? So why are these you know, considered your favorite pair that you Because it's just like the design. Like no one thinks to put corduroy material on a sneaker. And the fact mm -hmm. you get the '97 Air Max top. And the Air Max one's the bottom. Mm -hmm. Like it's just a unique colorway, and also it was a special, it was a gift yeah, for me for my birthday. You know, it's tough. Shout yeah. out my lady, you know, she got me for my birthday. So yeah. you know, these right here is like compared to he, all of them here, it's just too tough. Yeah. Like, he's not with Nike no more, right? Nah, I switched to uh, I think believe it's Adidas, Adidas now. Adidas, oh no, not even A Six. What? Because he, he did a collab with A Six too. Oh shoot! Think, so he's saw with A Six. Wow. One of those two, A Six or Adidas. But I know he dropped a, a pair A Six, so just like know. this. Oh yeah? Yep. No, I didn't see those. So that means these is the resale gotta be crazy right now. Yep. I remember when they about, first came out, yeah. it was uh going for like three twenty, three forty. But I was like, it's probably going down, so mm -hmm. I waited. But I waited, it was like seven, eight hundred dollars. So I didn't buy them. So <laughs> I mean I tried to get those things too, but like I, like you said, I waited, you waited, or you was able to get them. Shout out to your lady. But them shits they were on my one list, but I was able to get them because the price is way too yeah, high. Yeah, I'd be like eleven hundred, twelve, thirteen hundred probably. So Looking at this collection, bro, what was the most you ever paid for a pair of sneakers and which one was it? Good question, good question. So it was a good old mm. off white 10 mm. Baby Max. I kind of regret paying what I paid. How much? I paid, talk, to uh, me. talk to me. It's about 620 for stock X. Damn. I know. 600, but right now, that's considered a steal. Believe it or not. That's true. That's considered a steal. Because that's it like is. what? 1200 maybe now? Nine going? That's the thing. I was like, just size? an all white pair of sneakers. I was like, I'm going to pay 620 for this. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was thinking about out there, yeah, I want them. I need them. Mm -hmm. All white, you know, part of the 10 collection. So right. I need it. But I would not pay no 620 <laughs> now. Nah, not for these. So you're not doing that again? You will not pay for about these? six? Nah, yeah, nah, for those. Nah. If it's that. like, I will pay maybe like, it's six fifty seven hundred dollars. That's like a PE Sunday exclusive right. that nobody really got. So no, not a pair of white sneakers, basically. Nah, and that's especially so no white. Now no all whites. Another one is the reason why I sold mm -hmm. when I bought the I got the ninety seven tens from the, okay. the, the original pack, the ten yeah. the all white ones. Sold those for four fifty, mm. which was back then was a lot for me. Now, yeah, but course. now they're going for like twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, so I lost on that one. So for all white pair of sneakers, I never got. Alright, so. so bro, um, what was the last pair of sneakers you bought here? Uh, it's been a minute. Mm -hmm. It's been, uh, I say, summertime. Bought the good old white ups. Mm -hmm. Can't go on white ups, you know. Nah, you know from a nigga from Harlem, right? You always gotta have a fresh pair of white ups. And you these, know? these are already looking a little, a little beat up to me. They got the crease. You can't have a crease in white ups. So summertime, <laughs> have you nothing? New York in general, man. That's I think that's a New York shoe. Like when you think of the white ups, like shout out to Nelly. He made the whole Air Force One song, but we was been right. doing that before. Nelly and the whole Air Force yep. um, song, but I think the white up is a New York shoe. Um, bro, talk to me about the black joints. Like, what's the vibe on the black ones? We can't really talk about those because those, you know, those are the black nasties. Like, if you if you have those on, then you, you know, kill somebody, you want to beat somebody up, you want to do something with those. So, so those is... you will commit a crime straight. Hell no, you commit a crime with those on. What about the high top black ones? You mess with those? Nah, I'm good, <laughs> man. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, right. I don't mess with the high top. If we the white ones, I I'm good, I'm good, I don't think so. I think it's low tops or nothing. Or nothing. And if they're not white or like actual like different colors or something like that, then I'm good on those, man. Like I heard it, heard it, heard it, heard it. So bro, how many pairs of sneakers you have here, man? Uh well, I started with like in the high nineties. Hold on. Of course. You started in the high nineties, so high why 90s. what happened to the either 
I don't like them no more. Mm. My feet, I grew them, mm. or I just got rid of them because they too beat up. Okay. Like I started off with phones. Phones were like my top one sneaker. I had electric greens, electric blues, metallic reds. Any phone you said, nigga, yeah. I'll have. It. Yeah. But after a while, like phones right now to me, I can't wear them. Yeah. Sad so, work for me, yeah. so I just I can't do it. Right, so how many sneakers we have here all together? Like 52, 55. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you plan on upping that number? Oh, of course. I'm right. always like rotating stuff in and out. So like either I buy a pair to flip it, or mm-hmm. I buy a pair to hold it, or after a while they get too beat up, I just give them away or something like that. All right, cool. All right, bro. So my next question is, what is the craziest thing you've done for a pair of sneakers? Oh, it sounds crazy, but talk to me. I did a lot of crazy stuff. Talk to me. To so we start with, <laughs> start with the Carmines. The ones that just came out? Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. nah. OG Jones. OGs. All right, heard it. Not OGs, OGs, but, but like, that came out, uh, what, 2013, 2014, 14, something yeah. like that? Mm-hmm. Hey, B, you know, I, I wear my sneakers. One thing about me, wear your sneakers. Uh, wear my sneakers, right. yeah. Wear I your don't sneakers, know, but right. you know what you're saying. Yeah. Wear your sneakers. All right, so talk to Yellow me. sole and all that. All right. So, you know, before, you could wake up at 6 in the morning mm-hmm. and go to House of Hoops and get your sneaker. Yeah. So, you know, but time started changing, and I was like, nah, we can't do it no more. Mm-hmm. So, it was about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock night. It was raining, summer night. My boy Julio, my mm-hmm. boy Kenny. Mm-hmm. We go to 34th Street House of Hoops. Mm-hmm. We get there. So the line was crazy, mm-hmm. right? So it's raining, summer night, raining, pouring rain. So we get there, we like, it's like 10, 15 a line. Mm-hmm. So we kind of confident, it was like, we're gonna get these sneakers. So we go to Wendy's, we kill time with Wendy's. We stayed there for a good like two hours. Mm-hmm. It's two in the morning. We go back online, line, meet some people, chatting up. We get sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> so we go into Chase Bank, across the street. Yeah, yeah. We sleep on the radiators, like in Chase Bank. In Chase Bank, <laughs> we sleeping on the radiators, and we in sand. I packed sandwiches. I packed everything because yeah. I was like, it must be a long night. Yeah. So we get up at six fifty-five in the morning, seven o'clock. We run to the line. Mm-hmm. We see like our chairs wasn't really there no oh. more. So it was like, oh, here we go. It bothered you. So I was, you know what? It's alright. So the person I was talking to, I went. I was your bro. You know, I was here. He said, yeah, you good, you good. And we're sitting there, you know, people's cutting the lines, yeah. going back and forth. We get into arguments, people going crazy for the car line. That's crazy. I went in, they had a size 10 and a half. What size are you? Nine and a half. She. So I was like, wow. My boy Julio got a nine and a half. Yeah. And I was like, yo, bro, why are you getting a nine and a half for if you were 10 and a half? He said, I'm a sell it. I was like, bro, give me give me the nine and a half, I give you the 10 and a half. He said, all right, bro, I got you. Wait, hold on, so he was a 10 and a half? Yeah. Why the hell? He went in I, before you? Yeah. He went in front of me. So I'm like, yo, bro, why are you getting a. Nine and a half and you were ten and a half. He said, you split it because the common size. I was like, but do you want sneakers though, right? He said, yes. I was like, give me the nine and a half, you were ten and a half. You can flip these if you want. Nah, yo, so Julio, like, you wildin', my boy. Who you wildin'? You. you <laughs> that's good. You got, you got the sneakers. I got them. That's crazy. And they, I mean, I'm with the new pair too because it has Nike Air in the back. So mm-hmm. just wait on those. Those are coming for you. I ain't gonna lie, brody. That's crazy. Like, I remember them summer nights waiting online to go cop some kicks. Trust me. Now, I'm not gonna get into that, man. You can copy pair of kicks now. Don't, bro. But we ain't right. done yet. I got another story for you, man. Damn. I got another story for you. All right. So remember those uh that collab that Kyrie did with Krispy Kreme. Yeah, it was good. Kyrie Krispy Kreme. Yeah, we was there. We was out there. We was out there. Talk to him, bro. So I remember you and Jason was lined up for the for the flu games right mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. The flu games. Mm-hmm. And I pulled up on like it was like eight in the morning, and we see Nike snap and the bus was going down to what was it? I think what, what, was what, it was Park? Yeah, yeah, So we sit online, us four, yeah. and some other guys, us four on yeah. that line. Yeah. We was like, yo, we gotta go. Yeah. We remember we packed that chair yeah. and we, we got ran. Yo, we ran. Like, yeah. No, wait, we didn't get in the car and went down the, um, West 4th Street. I think we yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. We, we ran down the car. Like, oh, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we ran like, in the street. We thought, people thought they was robbing us. Like, yeah. They were like, yo, why, like, why are you yeah, running? Because yeah, there was people online. And they right seen us. Was. That's right. Yo, yeah, they yeah, seen yeah. us. That was like, yo, they know something's gonna happen. Yeah. And we got there, and those people already on the line. Those mm-hmm. little two Asian girls. Yeah. They took my lap yeah. size. I ended up with an eight and a half. I sold it. Matter of fact, hold on. That's I bought the um the what was the other joints? The Hir- Kairachis, where they were like white. Were like I bought those because when I got in the truck, the Krispy Kreme was gone. It was gone. Yeah, it was gone. Yeah. So you bought the Krispy Kreme? I bought that, the Krispy Kreme on West Fourth. Yeah, on West Fourth, a size eight and a half. I actually wanted my size to keep. Mm-hmm. I was like, no way, I'm a nine and a half, so I'm not, I'm not gonna do it with eight and a half. So I sold some guy in the Philippines for like eight hundred fifty dollars with the whole box with pins. Because that was the official box. The yeah, official box. Like, like that. I know yeah. they, they came back a lot again, but it wasn't, it wasn't the, same, the, it wasn't box. the same box. The pins. So I sold the box, yeah. the pins, the stickers. Eight hundred fifty dollars. Hold up. So, do you remember yeah. the dude though that was in the car with us going back 
that house of hoops in Harlem. Oh. The dude we just met from Long Island. Oh. I forgot his name, but he was in the car. He's like, yo, bro, can we ride? Can I ride with you? Yeah. And he, he came back with us to yo. um Harlem. He did. Some strangers. Some strangers. Some regular strangers. He was like, yo, can I ride with y'all? Like, and he was talking about the, he, he talked about the, the KD, the yeah, Mother Man, the yeah. nurse. He got all of them. Yeah, all of them. And did yeah. you meet him the next day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think he got the um, Kyrie's too. I think so. You should speak to that kid. Or not? Uh, hearing him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hearing him. That's crazy. Yeah. That was so crazy. That was crazy. But it was my size. But since I took him, he, he fucking, um, he swapped with me. Yeah, but then you sold them, right? Yeah, I sold them, yeah, I sold them, yeah. Yeah, I sold them, yeah, but... I also keep them, though. Yeah, but I was gonna keep them, because I really wanted my size. I was yeah. like, damn. Man, he actually, fired. yeah, he right. actually, like, fucking switching me. I was like, oh, shit, this nigga dead-ass swapped me. So, what was a pair of sneakers that you got um, for retail that you were surprised to get? Let me see, uh... I gotta go with the Pirate Blacks, man. Sheesh. I gotta go with the Pirate Blacks. These is fire. V1s. These V2s. V1s. Uh, V1 heard. Pirate Blacks. So... What's the story behind this? I remember when the, when the Yeezy craze was going yeah, crazy. crazy. Everybody wanted these. Mm -hmm. So I was at work. Mm -hmm. I had five computers loaded up on Yeezy, Adidas.com slash Yeezy. Yep. I was just sitting there refreshing everything, refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. I said, you'll be in the waiting room soon. So my lunch break was giving up. I was like, oh, man, I don't think I'm going to get them. Literally, less than like two minutes before I went back to clock, it said it put me through the room. So I was going crazy. I was like, oh, oh, shoot, here we go, here we go. Nine and a half. Put in my cart. Put in my cart information. Because I feel like with sneakers, you have to know your cart information. You got to be quick. I know my cart information my heart. Yeah, I know I don't I know. need the cart. Yeah. So I put it in. And once I said order confirmed, when I say I ran around, <laughs> when I say I ran everywhere, I went crazy. I was like, yo, why are you going so? I was like, just leave me be, man. I'm very tired right now. I just couldn't believe I got the Pirate Blacks for, for retail. retail. Yeah, On Adidas.com. No bots, and that was that was just proud of me, man. Like, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. So, um, have you tried to cop any sneakers via the sneakers app lately, man? Talk to me about the sneakers app, man. Don't talk to me about the sneakers app. I don't want to talk about the app because I strike out either every single time, mm -hmm. or I get lucky here and there and get a good pair of sneakers that I want. Okay. But recently, everything that came out, I had not even clicked on the button to try for it. <laughs> I know I'm going to sell out. I know it's going to do everything. It's going to the bots eat the bots eat them up, or once it's ten on one. They gone. It's over. So yeah. I'm just like, what's the point of me even like trying anymore if it's we're gonna sell out? So how do you think they can potentially fix the sneakers app? Because I think it's bots. Maybe I don't even know to be honest with you. Like shit, just flying off Yo, the show. Crazy. I don't even know myself because I be confused. Like how does the sneaker sell out in literally a minute? Like mm -hmm. what? Uh, they probably should do like a waiting room. You know how like Adidas did it with yeah. the Yeezys. I feel like they should do something like that. Like what about the queue where you picking, you matching up the bicycle or looking? They at got the bots picture. for that too. Oh yeah. I remember when uh, like, Adidas. Yeah. Uh, you start doing that and the boss started eating it up, so yeah. it was just it was just too much. So, so like, sneakers are basically just a fail. It's a fail, like that's crazy. And the draw, like that draw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you get lucky, then yeah, it's, but I feel like it's a fail, like it just don't work. So let me ask you a question: What sneakers did you ever get from sneakers app that was like a high profile sneaker, not like a regular general release, but something like that people was actually like, oh shit, like I really hit on sneakers app. I got the <clears throat> off whites ninety sevens, okay, the, the original ten, mm -hmm. and I got the Travis Scotts. You got, you got the Travis Scotts here. Nah, sold them. Jeez. Sold them for uh, eight fifty. Damn, big come up. Big come I think up. right now I think they're going for the high. Nah, they're high like six, seven. I think like that. six, seven. So I sold it for a good come up, eight fifty. But for the ten, the ninety seven, the off white ones, mm -hmm. so I'm four fifty. And right now they're going for twelve, thirteen hundred. That was my. I was fiending to get them off. I was like, I need to get these off my hands. Mm -hmm. Like, even though I should have kept them, but then I was like, I said to all white sneakers, so mm -hmm. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna buy no more. Those are two sneakers that I really hit on, like on the sneakers. On the sneakers, app. App. on the sneakers. App. Yeah. Like for me, like I said, I don't. I try in the straight L L L L season. Like sneakers app is going bad. Like today, um, what's it, twenty seven? Yeah. Think? And those fours drop. Fours. I didn't even try. Did you even try to get those? I didn't try. I didn't try. But I know once I click to get nine and a half, mm -hmm. they're gonna be gone. So I'm good, man. I didn't, I didn't even try. All right. So how do you feel about the whole sneaker game? The sneaker game, you know, as a whole, like. I mean, is it going in the right direction? Is it too much hype? Because sneakers always had hype behind it. Like hype. now it's like, I, I thought like we were supposed to be in a recession. Sneakers is flying off the shelves. Hey, so. I feel like it died down though. Compared to like when I was in high school, like the days that I was reading this, I feel like people lining up the lines. I feel like it died down. But it was I easier like to get them though. For some reason, it was. Wait on the line. Like it was just more gotta, work to do it though. Because you, you gotta be that system more and be that talk like right now. You gotta be there early for it. I feel like now everything is a wrap. Yeah, but we got a chance to get them. That's now true. it's like. We waiting on the freaking bots or the AI that's like true, to true. hopefully get a pair of sneakers. You know what I'm saying? That's true. I feel like I don't know. It's different. Like 
Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it's easy. Crazy. Easy it was easy back then, but it's, I feel like it's easier now to get lucky. I feel like now it's all luck. Unless you got like, like a back yeah. door or something like that, but of course it's always gonna be. Yeah. All right, bro. So looking at this collection, I already see it, but I'm gonna see if you're on the same type of time I'm on. Back. What is the most exotic pair of sneakers you own? It's easy. It's easy, man. You gotta go with the corporate bronze, man. There you go. Gotta go with the corporate bronze. Those are different. These are different. Yeah. These are different. These are different. So. What are they called? The cork LeBron. Cork right? LeBron. Why are they called the cork LeBron? Because they're literally made out of cork. Like, they like, took like pieces of cork. Yeah, like joint. wine corks. Like, I don't wear that much no more because pieces will start coming off. Like, you know, <laughs> oh, like they're going to start coming off. And I got these off a, a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. I paid two fifty. And I don't know the reason on those. They probably a little high because they made yeah. from cork. And at first, at first, they were really high. So I was like, I'm not even going to bother. But my man said, yo, I got a few for two fifty. I was like, bet. He said, brand new? He said, yeah. I was like, I was like bro, don't do not do that. I, went, I met him after work, around 14th Street, the bus stop, cop for 250 The only thing was the box was damaged, but as you can see, I don't have the box. I don't have the boxes. Speaking on the boxes, um, why don't you have boxes? What's the deal with the containers? Talk to me about the containers. I feel like it looks more more elegant, like more mm -hmm. like it pops in the containers. Like Boxes are cool, but after a while, as you can see, like they start tearing up they start you know just deteriorating after a while you know so i feel like containers is the way to go where you got these containers from because a lot of places are selling them now container store man uh, a container store man all right so looking at these sneakers you said the wooden spoons the sean wooden spoons are your favorite um sneaker right yes sir and being that that's a collab sneaker what is your favorite collab sneaker that you own besides the wooden spoons mm -hmm. you have a lot of people looking at them I'm definitely gonna go with the Supreme Fives mm. and the uh, Supreme Up Tempos. Mm. Definitely, these right here, like, come on. I don't like, even see a lot of people even wearing those. Nah. Now, you? That's how you know, like, those are too tough. Like, the fact they put Supreme all over the shoe, like. The red ones, didn't they come out with another color? They came out with black, black. all black, and the gold ones. Oh, yeah. And at first, the gold ones were going for the most. Mm -hmm. And I copped these, it was crazy, I copped these off the Supreme website. For retail? retail? Damn. Retail. And I was so surprised. I was like, oh, shoot. Like, I really got this for retail? I was going to sell them. But I was like, nah, I like these way too much to, like, to let them go. So I was like, nah, I got to do it. So the Supreme Fives, they were in other colors as well, right? White? Yep, they were in a white and black. 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 Okay. The white and black. And these just popped out for me. It was just regular white and black. I really want So I was like, I bought these uh, sneaker con. Got one at 650 I was like, bro, I'm not doing 650 Talking down to $500 for these. That's the beauty of sneaker and con. I'll take it, yep. Right. Shout out sneaker con, New York City, man. This is talk, it. Yeah, you can talk that talk. Yeah. Sneak con. And they listen. Hold on, they you got listen. some OVOs down here, man. I see you got some OVOs on your feet. Yeah, you like, know, shout out my boy Juju Drake, man. You got some OVOs there. Shout out my boy Juju Drake. You know, got the, got the turns. Oh, yeah, those are the 10s you got in your hands. What is that? Oh, I got the 8 here. What other 8s are? Oh, the 10s, yeah. The 10s. I got the. So, how do you feel about the whole Drake Nike thing? Like, I like it. Like, I like it, you know, Drake is, you know, Drake is, you know, my favorite, my boy, my boy Drake. Mm -hmm. But it's just, I feel like it's just sometimes it's too basic, like, yeah. so you as you can see, oh, come on, he could do way better, like, I like it, of course, like, because there's OVO, so like that, like, yeah, they right. good. Yeah, those but just, like, you see, like, white, black, that's it, it's just white and black. Yeah. White and black, like, come on, Drake. So he, he can basically do, like, a Travis Scott type of thing? Like, he should be like Travis Scott. Yeah. yeah, like, he should be, he should be killing the game, to be honest. And I honestly don't know why he's not killing the game, he's just lazy or something, but... <laughs> he should be killing the game to be honest. Yeah. I like him, but sometimes I feel like it's just too basic. Like, yeah. like I barely, I, I haven't wore these yet. These are still desktop. Damn, and I wore still these. Desktop? Or for these white. Oh, I wore these twice. Mm -hmm. These are still desktop. You got the black ones, the, old, the black tens, or no? Nah, you got the black tens. Because I was like, I want to get the same shoe. Mm -hmm. same black. So I was like, damn. I don't want it though, but I ain't bother. Alright, bro. I got another question for you. So, you're getting ready in the morning, club, just general casual wear. What do you do first? Do you do the sneakers? Or the clothes, or the clothes or the sneakers? What do you put on first? Definitely do the sneakers first. Because sneakers make the fit. People see you first, or so they got the sneakers. Right, you're right, yeah. So, I know for me, when I'm, shit, I'm outside, see some fresh kicks on, like, oh, those are, those are clean. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah I, I think I do that too. I so, sneakers, know. jeans, shirt, maybe a hat. I want to put a hat on, mm -hmm. put a hat on. That's what I do. All right, but so, with that being said, I want to try something new here. So, okay. I want to try something called WTF. Not what the, but this one is, what's the fit? So I'm gonna pick out any random pair of sneaker you got here 
and you're gonna have to put a fit together, my man. I'm gonna throw you in the spot. All right, um, all right. I don't know if I'm gonna time it, but I don't know. But we're gonna get right. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna pick a random pair of sneakers here, man. You're gonna have to. Right, you're gonna right. have to get jiggy, man. You're gonna have to all right, all right. throw something on. All right, man. I ain't gonna go with something like. Let's see. What I'm gonna pick out here, man. Let me see. I'm gonna throw on. Let me see. Let me oh. throw something on. You ain't wearing a sure. minute. Hold on. Oh man. Um, let's oh, throw man. on. All right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna throw on something. Oh, mm. Let's throw on something calm. Oh, what's the vibes? We're going calm. We're going gym vibes. Mm, that's true. We're going, going to shovel snow with the Tim's. Come on, let's get the Tim's. What we that doing? Ass, that ass beat. <laughs> what are we doing? Like, that Damn. ass beat. I want to switch up something, man. Let's, in fact, let's, let's throw these on. Let's do these. Mm. All right, so the goal is I want to I want to type a, a calm type of fit. Calm, something like. Something like, calm. Not going out, but like. Yeah, calm. Day. Yeah, regular day. Bad, bad, right. bad, what's bad. the fit, man? Let's get to it. All right, oh, man. WTF. Now what the f or what's the fit? I basically pick out a random sneaker from whoever I'm interviewing and then they have to throw a fit together. So I told him a calm fit, you know, let's see if he throws on. I don't know, he has a lot of pair of sneakers here. I chose that, I wanna see what direction he goes, what type of style he puts together. So let's see what he does. What's the fit? The Yeezy 500s, which is a calm shoe, calm shoe, you can throw it on anything. So I threw them on with some nice Paxson cargo pants, adjustable bottom, you can put it tight, put it loose, however you want it. Got a Supreme shirt, Fuji Banton on it. Big up Jamaica, man. Last but not least, got a nice regular black calm, white and black hat, gray bottom. You throw it on optional. Mm -hmm. Put up the fit on, mm -hmm. and you go from there. So the fit on jacket, go from there. Heard it, man. So there you have it. That was WTF. We threw some calm on. There it is. So there you have it. Volume two of the collection series in the books. Today we're going to do something brand new. WTF. Now what the? Well, what's the fit? Um, Austin, talk to him. Where they can find you, my boy? That. So follow me on Instagram at Too Smooth Austin, and also follow my gaming channel at Too Smooth Gaming. So you heard it here. Don't forget to keep your kicks on and get your game on.